holiday sale. Welcome back to San Antonio Living. This morning we're talking about addiction and recovery. We have a fabulous panel of guests from Soba, Texas. Joining us this morning, actor Daniel Baldwin, Alex Dragigi, who is the director of operations, Scotty Brown, co-founder of Soba. He actually came up from Malibu to join us this morning, and Greg Hanley uh, with Soba, Texas. Thank you guys all for being here this morning. We were talking a little bit about how important it is to have a family to support you whether it's your blood family or your new sober family to get you through the addiction and recovery process and that's what's so important to mention about soba this is a new facility not that new you guys have been here with us for about a year right here in san antonio that is completely different than any other facility out there because they believe in longer than a 30-day program. If you've done a 30-day program and haven't been successful, the reason is you may have not gone to the right place. And I encourage everyone to get online and find out a little bit more about Soba Texas. So Greg, I know the holidays are a really hard time for people who are dealing with an addiction, people who are in recovery as well. There's a ton of parties, family issues, craziness. Do you have some tips for people to help them get through this tough time? Well, if you have um, people that are in recovery in your family, try to be supportive of them mm -hmm. and, uh, and understand that it is a hard time for them. Uh, if you have somebody that comes home, I mean, generally at family parties on the, on the holidays, somebody gets drunk mm -hmm. or something, or somebody is acting out, and um, that usually causes the big problems at the holidays yeah. now uh, and and if you're in recovery find you know stay close uh, we at our clubhouse we would hold a Thanksgiving for people that didn't really have families to kind of interact with each other we'd have Christmas we'd have a um, New Year's party mm -hmm. uh, that because uh, you're surrounded in the holidays with people that yeah. are doing things that that might not work for you so it's okay to remove yourself from the equation and yeah. I think as family members you have to understand that if you've got someone who's going through the recovery process and if they can't be with you that day you gotta let that go let mm -hmm. them do what they need to do to be healthy uh, Greg brought up a really good point earlier in the conversation and that was remember too when you're when you're going into the holidays you're being usually thrust into a family dynamic that is not something that you've been around in some time. Yeah. You know, you're not with your family all the time, right. your siblings, your mom, your dad, and so on. Suddenly you're, you're, you're these few holidays a year, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Now you're around all your brothers. This can bring up a lot of old stuff, right. you know, and feelings and that. I know in my family, you know, having all six of my, the kids together can sometimes be very challenging for me. Mm -hmm. And remember, too, that people that are sober usually live a very structured life now. You know, that's something we didn't have in our life before, that we learn these types of things at, at SOBA. And, and now you're taking that structure away. You're not working. You're mm -hmm. not doing this. You're not doing that. So, it, you know, you leave yourself very susceptible. T take, take, embrace that, you know, and ask for help, you know. Okay. Reach out to the people around you that are sober. Scotty, I know you are here in San Antonio with us today, but uh, Malibu is your home. Mm -hmm. I know you've seen the SOBA facility in Malibu grow and <laughs> yes. become amazing. It's unbelievable. How lucky are we here in San Antonio to have a SOBA facility? Oh, very now? lucky. I went there yesterday for the first time, mm -hmm. and I was like, wow, this is just what... I get goosebumps. It's, yeah. To me, it's a spiritual awakening that Greg was able to put all this together. and I'm, I'm literally getting goosebumps right now because to see it and to see all the people around the campfire there, just, you know, that's what works, you know? Mm -hmm. One a addict helping another in a great environment, yeah. and Greg knows how to do that. I'll tell you what, I work with a lot of people in this business, and sometimes you see people that, you know, they're just out there doing what they do because it makes them money and they do what they do. But when you see the enthusiasm that you guys have for this recovery center, it gives me chills because you guys are there for the right reason. Mm -hmm. You know, you put everything that you have into this recovery center. You've been through the process yourself. And I, I know that it is, it is in your heart. You really want to help people. And that's why you guys are here in well, Texas. Well, Greg and Alex are, are very hands-on, you know, and, they're, and, and Greg in multiple facilities, Alex certainly at, at Soba, Texas. But they will tell you what it's like when, when the parents haven't to haven't seen the child, Greg, in, in, in three months, and they come out and see their kid. Oh, it's, um, 
It's amazing. Well, even to me, because I go back and forth to California a bit, and sometimes, uh, yesterday, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. yep. I was walking past this girl, and I had to stop in my tracks, and, and I, I turned around, and I couldn't believe the transformation. Mm -hmm. And it was everything. It was, there was this brightness, and, and it's kind of like if you see a kid that you hadn't seen in a while, how much they grew up. And it's always, uh, I met some parents yesterday, and, and uh, it, it was a really tearful reunion. Because, mm -hmm. And the most often thing they say, uh, say is, you gave me my son back, or you gave me my wife back, or you gave, you know, they, they thought it was lost, and we can help them find their family again. Alex, if there are people that are watching at home this morning and they, you're the guy, you're I'm the gonna operations do it. The guy. guy. Yeah. The question, I'm going to do it. Ready? What do they need to do to get into the facility? What kind of information do they need to have? It starts with the phone call. Phone call. Boom! Boom! Sit. The, the, the gavel call. comes down. <laughs> There's a lot of people who um, are absolute, really professional and they know mm -hmm. how to talk to somebody and walk them through. Um, there's no obligation. You're not going to get some salesperson trying to force you to come in, and it, it's actually quite the opposite. You, we we want to educate people that are calling, and we really walk them through every single step. Okay. Um, from also what it costs, and we don't. One of the things that Greg has like got out there at all of his facilities is he doesn't want um, finances to be a reason right. somebody can't get the absolute best treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone's going to do their best there to walk like out to walk you through and figure a way out. You know, yeah. and, and we know you're f we're, you're fearful. To make that call is, is courageous, you know, yeah. to call up a stranger and ask for help that way. And we understand that. So uh the numbers on your screen, it's right there. Whether you are someone who's dealing with an addiction or a family member, jot the number down. Again, they're right here in San Antonio, Soba Texas, sobatexas.com. We'll be right back.